Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today I'll try and help you fix your dishwasher if it's not draining water. What you don't want to be doing is scrapping your dishwasher when there might not be anything wrong with it. And these are the steps that we'll be running today in this video. Draining the water, removing and cleaning the filter, checking for blockages on the pump impeller, cleaning any debris from that area, running a cleaning program, checking the dishwasher drainage pipe, remove the drainage pipe work U-bends, checking the U-bends for any blockages, cleaning the spray arms, and then having a lovely cup of tea. The first thing you must do is find out where the dishwasher is plugged in, switch it off and unplug it just for safety. Now the prime suspect for blocked drainage in your dishwasher is chipped cups or broken glass. These can get stuck in the impeller and stop it from spinning and draining the water. So if I just open up this dishwasher here, it's actually run a dishwashing program, but there's lots of standing water in the bottom of the dishwasher. So empty your dishwasher first and remove the lower tray. And first of all, take a sponge and a small bucket or a container and just start sponging away the water. Once you've removed enough water, you can then remove the filter. Generally, this is just a small turn and then lift. And you can see the amount of fat deposits on this filter that can easily stop a dishwasher draining. That's pretty disgusting. This is on a slightly different model. Again, it's the same sort of concept. You're turning the filter. This filter is actually not in too bad condition, but if we lift this gauze up, you can see there's lots of fatty deposits in this. So this definitely needs a really good clean. So what you're looking for is just lots of debris and food which needs a good clear out again take your sponge drain this water this is where the impeller is which does the actual drainage this spins round get as much water out as you can When you get near the end, you can use one of these turkey basters if you've got an old one of those, just to get rid of any excess water. You can remove the lower spray arm for easier access. That just pops off and we'll give that a clean quickly. Just make sure that water is flowing through that easily by running the tap through it and this one is all good. Now on this particular Bosch dishwasher, it's got a cover over the impeller. You just need to prise it off with a blunt instrument. I've just got a flat knife here. So just pop that out and then it lifts upwards. And there is the impeller. That spins around really fast and drains the water. Now what you're looking for in here is any blockages. This impeller should spin freely. This one actually does, so that is good news. But here is a different model which I was working on. And you can see we've got lots of debris in here. So I'm just going to take these tweezers and just remove as much debris as you can. Seriously, Lurks, have you been using my tweezers? In here, it looks like we've got an old raisin or something. Just be careful if you are putting your fingers down here. Just watch out for any broken glass or broken china that could cut your fingers. Then take your partner's toothbrush and give the area a good clean. Lurks, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the dishwasher? This is another dishwasher. This is pretty disgusting. Lots of fat deposits in here. And this is actually a rubber foot. This is off of one of those heat mats. So with that one, just give that a really good clean. If you've got a wet and dry vac, something like that, you could use that. And after lots of scrubbing and cleaning, it should eventually look like this. So you've got no fatty deposits and it's all nice and clean. Then it's time to put the impeller cover back on if it's got one and then reinstall the filter and the gauze. Now to put this impeller cover on, back on, you just push it down and it clips into place. Now we're going to clean the filter, 
don't just clean this directly into the sink otherwise you'll be watching another one of my videos of how to clean your sink when it's blocked so take your partner's toothbrush again Lux. just get rid of as much fatty deposits as you can into the bin and then the actual filter once you've got off as much as you can then just some hot soapy water and your partner's toothbrush obviously you don't want to be using your own toothbrush just make sure that's nice and clean this is now ready to go back in the dishwasher that just clips into place on this particular model and generally you're pushing it down and then twisting it to lock it into place this one is where the arrows line up that is now locked into place once you've cleared out all the debris and dirt it's a good idea to run a dishwashing cleaning program so plug the dishwasher back in and switch it on then take some dishwasher cleaner this is a finished one just remove the sticker on the top don't try and undo the lid then you place that face down in the bottom tray and that film on the lid dissolves with the heat so don't try and unscrew that lid then just run the hot dishwashing program the hottest one that you've got completely empty and then a few hours later you should have a sparkling fresh and clean dishwasher now the drainage comes out of this pipe here and generally will go into a u-bend which could be under your sink and if you can check any drainage outside make sure the water is draining from your dishwasher and this is two hours later with a sparkling fresh dishwasher which is now draining properly and hopefully that has cured your problem if not then stick around let's get to the next tips most dishwashers will go into a drainage u-bend configuration I'll show you both types now this type is under a sink so remove this holding clip by gently squeezing it with some pliers if you've got one of those then this drainage pipe from the dishwasher will just easily remove make sure you've got a tray or a small bucket and then put that in the bucket now what you're looking for is any blockages in this pipe this one is actually pretty good so I can put this back on quite often if you haven't cleaned it for a long long time that will be full of sludge so just give that a really good clean so put this drainage pipe back on and now we're going to check for any blockages in the u-bend now there's some slightly different configurations but generally you're just unscrewing it and it's anti-clockwise as you're facing upwards make sure you've got a bucket or a tray underneath this now again if you haven't cleaned this for a long time this could absolutely stink so just be aware of that and you're just removing both of these hopefully they're nice and easy to remove nobody's glued the threads and here we go just the final few turns there we go that is removed and I can tell that this one's actually pretty good If that is full of sludge make sure you put that in the bin and then just give it a really good clean if you have a quick look inside this is not too bad at all just a bit of grime inside here so I'll just give that a quick clean with my partner's toothbrush Lux. and this is it all nice and clean and then we just need to put this back on now be very careful when you're putting this back on 
do not try and force it. If it feels like it's not going on the thread, then stop and start again. Make sure it's nice and parallel. You do not want to be cross threading this because it's a plastic thread. And also only ever hand tighten these. Don't be tempted to get a really good grip on with some pliers or vice grips. You only need to do these hand tight as tight as you can get them. If it is a U-bend under the sink, it's a good idea just to run the tap quickly. Make sure you've got no leaks because the water will be going around this U-bend from the sink. And this one is great. This is a slightly different U-bend, but it's the same theory. You're just unscrewing it on both sides. And now I'll show you some slightly different drainage pipe work. If your drainage pipe work is at the back of your dishwasher, you may need to pull your dishwasher out, but be careful when you're pulling it out because obviously you've got a cold water feed and your drainage hose. Now your drainage hose might go into some pipe work on the back of the wall like this one. Again, make sure you've got your bucket ready check for any sludge in this drainage pipe from your dishwasher this one's not too bad now to save taking all this pipe work apart and checking this u-bend just take your camera on your mobile phone set it to video with the flash on and just video down inside and if i do that on this one you can actually see that that water looks pretty clear now you might get a good indication if you're looking down there and it looks all sludgy and horrible and it absolutely stinks to high heaven then you know that there could possibly be a blockage again like i showed you earlier you can just unscrew this u-bend and check for any blockages in this if there are any blockages just throw that in the bin and then just give that a really good clean and then reinstall it On your dishwasher you should also be able to remove the upper spray arm just by unlocking it at the bottom there and just running it under the tap making sure that all the holes are nice and clean if they're not just give that a scrub with your partner's toothbrush Lux. blimey i'm in trouble now <laughs> then to fit it back on you just push it up against and then just lock it into place now hopefully all of those steps that you've done means that your dishwasher is now working properly. If it still isn't working properly, then I'm afraid you'll need to call out a dishwasher engineer because you may have a faulty pump or you may have a computer board error. Don't forget to put your partner's toothbrush back and hope they don't notice. And after all that hard work, it is definitely time for a lovely cup of tea. Whilst I'm having a cup of tea in the top right, there's a link on how to remove oh. mould from your silicon in your bathroom with no scrubbing at all. And in the top left, how to defrost your freezer easily in under 15 minutes. And in the bottom left, how to clean your UPVC guttering so it stays cleaner for longer. I hope your dishwasher's working well now. Cheers. <laughs>